Thank you, Mr. Smith, for sharing with us. Welcome to, I don't even know what number, annual Christmas music night, probably 35 years in a row, my guess is. Do you know? 117 in our church that is 56 years old, <laughs> but, but Mark feels like he's been doing, leading that for 117 years because a lot of work goes into this. So glad that you are here. Uh, this is one of the most popular services we have every year and something also that's gaining in popularity. We haven't been doing nearly as long uh, and that is the late night Christmas Eve service. How many knew this year Christmas Eve is on December 24th? Okay, so on December 24th this year, Christmas Eve is, uh, it happens to be Friday, this coming Friday, 9 p.m. right here, 9 p.m. this coming Friday. Come early because I have, uh, I'm going to have for you my uh, infamous uh, hot wassail uh, Christmas drink ahead of time, some cookies, so uh, make sure you would get here uh, early enough to uh, enjoy that. Again, that'll begin at 9 p.m., about an hour-long service, roughly, and it'll be a great blessing, I believe, to all of us, um, and then uh, the fellowship a, a few minutes before. Um, take note in your bulletin of all that's going on uh, this week, and as well as even this evening. You who purchased poinsettias can take yours uh, this evening after uh, the service when we conclude. All right. Now, <clears throat> Christmas music night, and you know how at Christmas music night uh, we have all of the uh, all of the folks sharing in, in uh, vocal uh, singing and instrumental playing and, and the like, and uh, and we sing hymns and all. And then at the very end, uh, the pastor uh, comes and shares a few words. Uh, do you all know how that that works? Uh, we're not doing that this year, Brother Claxton. I know your 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 chin is on the ground. We're not, I'm not going to be sharing a message at the end of Christmas music night this year because I'm going to be sharing it at the beginning. <laughs> John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made which was made, that is, Christ is the creator. Uh, the word of God teaches that. And it goes on to say in verse 4, in him, in the Lord Jesus, was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Christmas, of course, is about the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Lord. I'm going to give you lots of L words, all L four-letter words. The Lord is the life. It says right here, in him was life. The Lord is the light. Oh, wait a minute, that's not four, that's five. Sorry, um, I are a college graduate. He's the light, and he is the Lord of love. Now, I say all that on the front end, because I want you to listen intentionally to the hymns which are sung by you, the words, the uh, special music that is shared, uh, anything that's going on, you will find it's directing us to turn our hearts in faith to the Lord of life, to the Lord of light, and to the Lord of love. That is why we are here. We're not here uh, simply to have our, uh, uh, our ears uh, pleased uh, with, the, uh, with the pleasant sounds, although it certainly will be, we're here for a much greater reason than that, because he is worthy of our attention. Amen? And so this evening, all the attention, all the praise, all the glory goes to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You gathered here. If you don't know him in a very real and personal way, my guess is you enjoy Christmas music. Seemingly, everyone does. But I want you to listen this evening with your heart. Really listen to the theology that is shared. And, and what is shared this evening, theologically, will tell us, in him is life. He's the light of all, that is, all who will receive him. And he is the Lord of love for all who know him. May this evening, if it's never uh, taken place before. May this evening be the time that you meet the Lord of life, the Lord of light, the Lord of love. And Heavenly Father, I am thankful for 
what we can share this evening and prepare our hearts toward that end, even right now, so that we might, may hear, in fact, and recognize what is being sung, what is being spoken, so that we may have hearts which are open and yielded to you. For there isn't anything more important than in any of our lives right now than our focus being on you. It's not our health condition. It's not our financial portfolio. It's not any relationship on earth. It is where we stand with you. And so, Lord, would you touch the hearts of any here who have gathered, who don't know you, that even this evening may be the appointed meeting place and time where you would come into a life who have, who's called upon you by faith and be saved, gloriously saved. For you told us you came to seek and to save the lost, those who need you. Lord, would you show up and show off as the Lord of life, the Lord of light, and the Lord of love in every heart gathered this evening. And for your children, may our hearts uh, swell with gratefulness and glory to you for who you are and what you've done. And so anoint this time. May you be high and lifted up. Lord Jesus, for you alone are worthy. In your glorious name we do pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Coming now, uh, as he has these 117 years, I think he said, uh, Director of Music Ministries here at Redbridge Baptist Church, Brother Mark Saylor. If you had the opportunity to go through Road to Bethlehem, I hope it was not lost on you that from the very first verses of Genesis to the last verses of Revelation, the whole Bible is about Jesus Christ and God's plan for our salvation through him. Christmas is a part of God's salvation plan, but it is just a part, and I hope you realize that. And uh, I credit Carrie Veet and, and her sharp pencil to just keep writing and writing and writing. I've got a challenge for Carrie. That's to open up the Bible at random and point to a page and say, this is the next scene we're going to have in the next road to Bethlehem. Why? Because the entire Bible is about that. Jesus Christ. Uh, you may not know it, but one of your favorite Christmas carols is not about Christmas. Uh, hymn number 87, Joy to the World, the Lord is Come. That is my favorite Millennial Kingdom hymn. Stand with me as we sing Joy to the World. Here we go. Joy to the world, the Lord is God. Let earth receive.
Proud to Praise Puppets have a skit they would like to present to us called No Room for the King. And by the way, that was written by Carrie V. is about to have a baby, I don't care. That's pretty good acting, but... I'm afraid the Bible account doesn't give any innkeeper parts. What? Are you sure? We can't... We can't answer the doors they knocked on and all those inns and the night Mary gave birth. Do you really think they arrived in Bethlehem the night Jesus was born? Well, that's what I've always seen in Christmas plays and movies. Maybe we should check the Bible. Great idea! Luke 2 says, And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary's betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. Hmm, that makes it sound like they were already in Bethlehem for some days before Mary gave birth. But there was no room at the inn, right? So they were living in a stable? God's word says, And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Hmm, I didn't hear that word, stable? I know. Let's check gotquestions.org. Yeah, they better have an article about this. I'm going to write to Mr. Hoodman. Got Question says, the Greek word translated as in, katalama, can also be translated as guest room. This translation would lead us to envision more of a private home filled with guests. Sometimes the place for animals was located on the lower level of the house, away from where the people lived. Interesting. Interested indeed. Also, AnswersInGenesis.org says the word katalama is later used for the guest room, the upper room, where Jesus sent his disciples to the Last Supper. There is a different Greek word for in, which Jesus used in his parable of the Good Samaritan. What are you looking for, Zach? I was just looking for some of those words that went over my head. <laughs> I'll summarize. The Son of God was not born at a palace. He likely was born in a small home's lower level, where animals are brought in at night because there is no room in the comfortable guest room. The bed for King Jesus is not a golden crib, but a manger. As a baby, he was laid in a manger, and as a man, he was laid on a cross. He humbly came to serve us and died to take the punishment for our sins. That's good news to share. Let's keep working on our Christmas play. Yeah, this will be incredible.
like to uh, recognize uh, Juanita, uh, Juanetta Edens and Vicki Schrode and Beth Staley and Scott Smith and, and thank them for working with our children and uh, giving them an, an outlet to minister in song. Would you give them a round of applause? I really appreciate that. Uh, if you've got your uh, program, uh, we're going to go right down uh, the line. We're going to be starting with Ben and Ellen Saylor. Hannah, uh, her voice is a little bit under the weather today, so uh, we're going to start with Ben and Ellen, and then uh, we'll go right down the line down to the bottom of the program. So enjoy this uh, version of Old Little Town of Bethlehem. Thank you. 
Seek and save the lost. The next song we'll sing is Come, let us celebrate the life of Jesus. Jesus, let us celebrate the life of Christ the Lord, our Savior and our King. Let us celebrate the life of Jesus, let us celebrate the life of Jesus, let us celebrate the life of Christ the Lord. Our Savior and our King. See Him in the stable. See Him in the stable. On a bed of hay. On a bed of hay. Christ the Lord was born to save us all on Christmas Day. See Him on the roadside. See Him on the roadside. Down in Galilee. Let us celebrate the life of Jesus. Let us celebrate the life of Jesus. Let us celebrate the life of Christ the Lord, our Savior and our King. See him on the hillside. Down in Galilee. To the land to walk and by to see. See him on the mountain. See him on the mountain. Preaching to the dead. Preaching to the dead. Jesus taught them how to trust in God and how to pray. Let's celebrate the life of Jesus. Let us celebrate the life of Jesus. Let us celebrate the life of Christ the Lord, our Savior and our King. See him on the hillside, there on Calvary, where he gave his life upon the cross to set us free.
This is uh, Holly Slaybaugh, and I've had the privilege of getting to know her, I think last summer is when you started coming. She is a, uh, a good old Southwest Baptist University grad, where uh, Diana and I uh, graduated, and we're happy to have her uh, singing Away in a Manger tonight. We're going to give you another chance to sing. Uh, I think uh, we're going to do one verse of uh, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. Would you stand with me as we sing? It came upon the Ushers, would you come forward and we'll 
uh, take the offering for tonight. Would you bow with me? Heavenly Father, we are so uh, grateful for what we have heard tonight. We have heard the gospel story, and we celebrate the gospel story. We celebrate the life of Jesus, and not only that, we celebrate the eternal, eternality of our Lord and Savior, and one day we will live with him. Until then, Lord, we pray that you would teach us about worship, uh, you would teach us about living for you and how to walk with you by your spirit and in obedience to your word. And thinking of that, Lord, we give these gifts to you with gratefulness and with joy. Take them and use them as you will, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. Oh, no. 
pounced on shepherds heard the message sent from heaven. The virgin had just given birth to Christ in Bethlehem. The shepherds rose and went with haste to where this child was laid. And Magi traveled night and day with gifts and homage paid. Simeon blessed Anna rejoiced, Messiah it was he. Yet knew their sins of heart and voice invoked a penalty. Christ Jesus the Messiah was born as a little babe. Creator, King, and Lamb of God on him sins were laid. This matchless, stricken, spotless lamb, the lamb who once was slain, was laid down in the but rose on the third day. His name above all other names, all things under his feet. He condescended, bore the shame, his nails brought death's defeat. What joy in heaven rejoice for sinners who repent. O Christian, come and lend your voice. His cross was heaven sent. O sinner, won't you flee to Christ, forsaking all your sins? His blood will free and justify all they that rest on him. Begotten one, God's only Son, from eternity past. Thy work is done, the victory won, return to us at last. Christ Jesus, the Messiah's blood, unveils the mystery. Creator, King, incarnate God, to him a glory.
Silent is the night And all the world is filled with joy Love is all around us everywhere And peace is with us in the air On the night when we celebrate a baby born Still, still, still On a night that is filled with joy All my heart this night rejoices Soft and sweet the angels voices still 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 when we celebrate a baby boy silent is the night and all the world is filled with joy When we celebrate a baby starry night of Jesus' birth, and don't it seem like lately this old world is going wild, and we could all sure use a taste of mercy mild, so I'm praying for all it's worth, for a little peace on earth. It's hard to imagine a silent night In a busy world that never seems to sleep But when I close my eyes and think of Bethlehem's child Then I realize just what we really need Lately I've been praying for a little peace on earth The kind the angels sang about The starry light of Jesus' birth And don't it seem like lately This old world is going wild And we could all sure use a taste of mercy mild so I'm praying, praying for all it's worth, for a little peace on earth. 
I hear a church bell ringing in the distance And faith wells up in me like a child Like a child I bow my head and ask the Lord this Christmas Could you help us get along for just a while Romans 5.1 says that therefore since we've been justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ and that's the only way we truly can have peace on earth Lately I've been praying for a little peace on earth the kind the angels sang about the starry night of Jesus' birth And don't it seem like lately This whole world is going wild And we could all sure use a taste Of mercy mild So I'm praying, praying. For all it's worth Yeah, I'm praying For all it's worth little peace on earth. Amen. Amen. Well, they went back into the cave where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found, and they found a video. And it happened to be of Joseph singing a song to, uh, while he was holding the baby Jesus. Actually, uh, this is uh, from a, uh, a video that was from 25 years ago, I think uh, pretty much today. Isn't that right, uh, make your point, Dexter? 25 years ago, and this is uh, Chuck Wainscott singing and, and holding uh, Nicholas Poindexter. Nicholas, how old are you? He's 25. <laughs> so if you want to see what uh, the, the baby looks like today, uh, go by and take a look at, at Nicholas. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, th now, this was recorded with uh, the technology of 25 years ago, so it uh, uh, might, might be a little bit muffled, but uh, we, we hope you enjoy it. Oh, it's 
thinking about reworking that song as Simeon's song. And <laughs> we've got plenty of babies uh, that, that we can have you sing to. I, I hope you didn't uh, miss the, the story that was in there. It, it's Joseph praying to God, Lord, show me how I fit into this plan of yours. Lord, how do I raise a king? How do I raise a king? And God lifted up Joseph for that particular time. Well, Chuck, do you think you're going to be able to make it through this? Do you need me to sing with Madison here? Come on up with Madison. And uh, this is Hallelujah Christmas. about this baby boy who's come to earth to bring us joy and I just want to sing this song to you it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall the major lift with every breath I'm singing hallelujah hallelujah Bethlehem, expecting child, they searched the inn to find a place for you were coming soon. There was no room for them to stay, so in a manger filled with hay, God's only Son was born, oh hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
The shepherds left their flocks by night to see this baby wrapped in light. A host of angels led them all to you. It was just as the angel said, you'll find him in a manger bed. Emmanuel and Savior, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. A star shone bright up in the east to Bethlehem the wise men three came many miles and journeyed long for you and to the place at which you were the frankincense and golden myrrh they gave to you and cried out hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know you came to rescue me. This baby boy would grow to be a man and one day die for me and you my sins would drive the nails in you that rugged cross was my cross too still every breath you drew was hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, hallelujah, wasn't fair doing that with uh, Chuck and Nicholas right before I had to share. <clears throat> Eight days old, Becky? Where's Becky? Eight days old? Seven days old. Even better. <laughs> Nicholas, is that you? And you know what uh, occurred to me? <clears throat> I didn't know we were doing that. Uh, that's a dirty pool. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I haven't recollected yet. How many were here that very night um, 25 years ago? So many of you were. I can remember it. Betsy, you were here. Do you remember it? You were, <laughs> in fairness, she was 10, 8, 9 years old, 10 years old at the time. And Christmas music nights uh, sometimes run together. Um, but boy, when you're reminded of that, whoo. Does that strike home and, and come back in, in great ways? And what occurred to me uh, was, well, while I was watching that, is the perseverance of the saints. Because Mark led that service. I was senior pastor at that time. Been senior pastor for three years. Before that, I was the associate for seven. So I'd already been on staff for a decade. Nicholas, you born in 96? 96? I'd been on staff for a decade. Mark had been for about uh, 11 years at that time. <clears throat> and he was leading uh, the worship service at that time. Uh, Chuck, I tell you, Chuck, you sound as, 
as solid today as 25 years ago. I mean, I was amazed at the <laughs> comparing your voices. You, you look better now than you did then. Uh, the gray makes you a little bit distinguished and not quite as baby-like. Um, <clears throat> kids, uh, our kids' age, Tyler and Betsy and the like, and Danielle and others, uh, I heard years afterwards that I was the best-smelling daddy in the church, <laughs> but you were the best-looking daddy in the church. <laughs> Am I telling the truth here? <laughs> Perseverance. And Nicholas serving the Lord 25 years later. Folks, God is good. And we thank the Lord for bringing us together uh, as a, a local church family. Where's Michael Lyons? There you are. Thank you for throwing me a bone what the world needs is more glissandos. And I say that seriously. <laughs> I, I, uh, I really uh, enjoy uh, that. And, and where's Philip? Philip Gatter, did you write the words to that song? I knew, I knew as much. I turned to Kathy, I said, I know that tune. I would have remembered. Did you see me give you a standing O? I said, to Kathy, I said, I would have remembered those words had I ever heard them before. So I, I Googled it real quick. No such song on anywhere in the internet. I said, aha, Philip, that was a masterpiece. My. Mm. Wow. And Carrie, thank, where's Carrie? Where's Carrie? She's out there, carries out in the hallway. What a wonderful script for the children. To learn biblical theology <clears throat> in their context of understanding. I mean, how valuable is that? It will be with them for life. Mm, my, it's good stuff. It's all good. Thank you all who shared Brother Saylor for putting this together, um, audio-visual team, uh, Beth for pictures, everyone who had a part, thank you. God's people, are you grateful for all that's been shared with us this evening? <laughs> Amen. We're going to stand now. Brother Saylor's coming uh, to dismiss us. I preached before we got started. If you came in late, you, you missed the message. Met, Philip did provide the message, as a matter of fact. Boy, I tell you, that was biblical theology from eternity past to eternity future uh, and all, everything in between. Wow. We're back this Friday, Christmas Eve, 9 p.m. right here. Come early. Enjoy the hot wassail and the cookies, and then we will have a uh, Lord's Supper service. Trust that this week the Lord will bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and the Lord lift up his countenance upon you, give you his peace. Brother Sailor. Go ahead and put up that uh, last, those last slides. Pastor, when did you start calling it hot wassail? It used to be hot wassail. <laughs> if you have my hot wassail. You haven't called it world class once uh, yet. <laughs> well, I can't wait to have some. We're going to end with that last verse of Silent Night, Holy Night. Silent night, holy night, wondrous silent night, with the angels let us see. Thank you.
God bless you as you go.